Hi, this is Chris with bestlightroomtraining.com with a quick tip for you using the local adjustment brush. We're going to go ahead and go over to that now. We are in the develop module within Lightroom. And the local adjustment brush was a new feature in Lightroom 2. So if you're still using Lightroom 1 and this doesn't look familiar to you, that's why. So actually Lightroom 3 is out now and we're several uh, different upgrades or versions into version 3. So if you're still on Lightroom 1, definitely time to upgrade. Lightroom 2 introduced these tools up here at the top above the basic section, the main one of which is the local adjustment brush, a local adjustment brush, which is just fantastic. So tonight I'm just going to show you a little bit of how to use that and how not to get freaked out if you select a certain amount and then it's not the exact right amount. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Here we have one of the boudoir images that I shot recently and we're going to grab our local adjustment brush. You can click on it here. It's the paintbrush icon above the basic section on the right hand side or you can um, just hit the K key for the um, shortcut. So here we're going to select um, exposure as the effect that we want the local adjustment brush to do. So exposure and we're going to set that to oh let's say minus 0.35 whoops let's just do it here then there we go close enough okay now we have a big brush uh, you can use your bracket keys to change your brush size or you can use a pressure sensitive Wacom tablet and um, to do that you just click those uh, bracket keys back and forth to select a larger brush you can also change the feather and the flow over here if you want so I just did that and here's where I just started with the local adjustment brush. That's the active pen right now and you can tell because it has a black dot in the middle that's the active one. If I hover over it it shows my chosen overlay color. If you want to change the overlay color you can go uh, over here and change some things with the tool overlays. So I like the red so I'm going to leave it that way. So once again this is where I've just used the local adjustment brush and if I want to change the amount I have uh, minus 0.39 so about minus 0.4 if I don't think that that's the right amount what you need to do what I need to do what you need to do is to drag back and forth horizontally it's gonna go down darker or I can go up and it's not going to be quite as dramatic of an effect So way way down here you can do that or way way up we definitely don't want to do that so Originally I was at uh, minus 0.39, that's where I am now. You can see that over here on the right hand side. And as I hover over this pin and go from left to right, it'll get darker or it'll get brighter. So just a quick tip for you when you're using the local adjustment brush, if you don't choose the exact right amount when you first set up your brush to use exposure, saturation, sharpness, anything like that, don't feel like you have to step back in the history to make changes. All you have to do is just go up to that uh, adjustment pen and if you've used multiple pens just click on the adjustment pen that you want to use and um, it'll be the active one will have a black dot and then you can just drag back and forth from the left to the right. So here let's add a new adjustment brush. Again this is exposure and we're going to go a little bit less, well not that much less, there we go. Big brush again and we're just going to brush down here on the bottom of the image just a little bit and then think hmm maybe that is uh, a little bit too much let's go over that adjustment pin and drag to the right just a little bit. Did you see that? Let me undo it and we'll do it again. This is where I just brushed. We'll show it again right there. This is where I just brushed. So now I'm just going to slide to the right and just make it a little bit less noticeable. Okay? So down here, show edit pins. Automatically when I, you know, hover over that area or just always, it's always going to show them. So I really like to see the adjustment pins. Again, you can hit H to hide them. Hit H again 
to reveal them. That's the hot key for the pins is H. Again, you see me toggling on and off. There's one, and there's one up here, and down here. Watch again, H, H again. And then you can hit the O key to show your overlay, but it's only gonna show on your most recent mask there. So let's show always. And let's make this the most adjustment, most uh, the active adjustment pin. So it has a black dot in the middle. And then again, toggling with the O key to show the overlay and off. So, and actually I've gone into her hair a little bit and that's okay because her hair is already kind of dark um, up top anyway. So again, if you choose a certain amount for your local adjustment brush in whatever function you want, whatever effect you want, exposure, contrast, saturation, sharpness, color, any of those things, brightness, contrast, um, don't worry if it's not the exact amount because you can always drag left or right and change it. So once again, this is Chris Gay with bestlightroomtraining.com. You can email us any of your questions at bestlightroomtraining at gmail.com or you can give us a call at 260-440-3889. Thanks.